It, it started for me back when I was a kid, five years old, um, playing piano. I took lessons. Um, we were forced to play piano in my house. My dad was like, you can't live here unless you play the piano. So at five years old, I'm learning classical music. And then it's funny because when I turned 10, I heard a cassette tape of a group called Guy. And the producer's name was Teddy Riley. And it literally changed my life. Like, I was like, whatever is coming out of these speakers is what I want to do. I work hard because I don't believe this is this is all given to me. I believe you have to work for it. I believe, like, you know, I'm, I'm always scared of someone else outworking me. When I turned about 18, I, I landed my first production deal, and it was me producing a whole album. And I'm working in the studio, working on a whole album. And creatively, I can create. Well, you can put headphones on me, and I can create. But when it came down to mixing, which was the most crucial point, I wanted to know that uh, that whatever I heard in the room, it sounded the same in my car or wherever I was going. We've done country records, dance records, uh, pop records, R&B, hip hop. We we vary from all kinds of different types of music. So KRK to me has been the one monitor that's been true through it all. You know, like I know that if I'm working on a hip hop track or an R&B track, my low end has to be tight as well as you got to hear the clarity of the vocals. What people don't understand is sometimes, you know, uh, you, you put on the big speakers because you're thinking you want to hear it loud, but th it doesn't necessarily mean it's right. So for me, it's always about getting it sounding right on the smaller speakers first. If it's right down there, then most likely it should be right everywhere else. Well, mains to me aren't true. Mains are there for the feeling. Mains are there to, so you can feel it in your chest and to mimic a club environment if so. The exposés actually, they shocked me. I came in and my engineer was playing a record for me and I thought we were up top. And I said, Mikey, put it on the carrot I want to hear him. He said, we're on the carrot And I was like, are you serious? So I'm kind of blown away by these exposés. Like I can actually, I don't think I've ever created on, you know, a mid speaker. I'm actually creating now on the exposés. You know, they, they really make it easy to do my job because it, it's the same every time. Every, every KRK I've really worked on, I feel like I've gotten the same voicing coming out of it so it's like it makes it very easy for them. whenever I go to any studios and I need to rent gear I just tell them to bring my KRKs that I'm used to working with so it just makes it really easy for me to just nail these mixes. What KRK has created with the exposés is now a safety net for my ears to be around for a long time because when you listen at loud loud you know volumes all the time you got to be careful you got to still protect your ears and I listen loud all the time but the KRKs now is a, it's like a safe haven for me I can sit there and create in the KRKs and not worry about my ears going bad but now I got something that's going to protect me and probably keep me hotter for much longer as a producer <laughs>